Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, guess what? I have more cards. Um, they aren't populated. I have a bunch of bear cards. Um, this happens to be an actual MSI card. This is their uh, disk controller card, the, the uh, MDIO Rev1. Um, 1978, written in hand here. A interesting notation on it too, QC-1. I wonder if this is a quality control. Um, maybe these were pulled to uh, make sure they were good before they went into production or something. I remember getting a bunch of parts from a company who claims to have purchased um, the remaining MSI uh, leftovers. Uh, I remember they used to have front. I should have bought a bunch. <laughs> they used to have uh, front panel switches and and other bent metal pieces and stuff. Uh, this is probably 25 years ago, but um, they, they did claim to have bought the excess inventory that, that M, after MSI closed their, closed their doors. Um, and uh, this may have come out of that lot, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but it seems to use a, a, a 1771 chip uh, for the disk controller. Um, it has a, a section that has a ROM, uh, a 2708. And um, the connector at the top would say this is for 5-inch uh, floppies only. And take a look at the back. Um, I like these old cards, the, uh, the silk screen that they used. It's kind of a matte finish. That's not shiny. It's kind of a, a, a dull matte. I uh, always like the looks of those. All right. Uh, I don't know if I have a uh, if I have a schematic for this. We'll we'll take a look at a book. There's a book called the S100 uh, bus, and that book has a lot of schematics uh, in it, and it, it may have may have schematic for this one. All right, let's look at another card. Um, what's this one? That's interesting. Uh, copyright 1979 Electronic Systems, and it looks sort of like a parallel card or a serial card or something. It has a bunch of big chips on it. Uh, it looks like it's four channel. Um, we have, uh, uh, looks like some uh, resistor packs, some pull-up resistors, and then uh, some small chips here at the top. Or maybe those are a connector. I don't see a connector on this board. It's a little bit strange, um, but it does have these uh, uh, one, two, three, four large chips. Where you, usually either a UART or a, or a parallel, like an 8255 chip. Um, so I'm not sure about this card. Hmm. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, that's not going to help us. Nothing back there. Yeah, I don't know. Have to do some more investigation on this one. All right, another card. Let's see. Uh, interesting. Uh, this looks like it's also an MSI card. 1977. You know, I think this one, this VIO is a video card, not a vectored interrupt card. So we have some uh, firmware and uh, we have a bunch of RAM here. So this is probably video RAM. And uh, the output, I believe, is right here. There's uh, two large pads, one for ground and one for VIO. Uh, so I think composite video probably came out of that connector there. Uh, I'm, certainly we can find a schematic for this one. And again, we have uh, uh, a date of 79 and a QC1 again. Um, so, interesting. Back. Pretty... Uh, Pretty packed card. All right. Well, what else do we have? 
Let's see. This looks like a simple card. And this is a CCS card, a computer systems card. Um, and this one is two serial, two parallel, model 70, uh, 2718A. Um, and we have uh, two serial connections, uh, parallel input, parallel output for the A, and parallel in and parallel out for B. Um, so quite a few cards similar to this by various manufacturers. Uh, you needed two serial um, connections because you had one that connected to your uh, video terminal, uh, which is usually uh, 9600 baud video, 80 characters by 24 lines, that kind of thing. And the second serial went to your modem. Back then, the modems only ran at 300 baud, so it was a dedicated serial line to the modem. Um, so if you take a look at programs like Xmodem or Modem 7, uh, they will have two different serial ports that you have to configure in that software, uh, one for the display and, and uh, one for the modem. Whoever did their uh, layout was uh, kn knew what they were doing. Okay. More cards? Uh, I think I'm going to save that one. We'll do a whole video on that one. And let's do this one. All right. So this is a um, EEPROM board. Um, and it is by Byte. Uh, so uh, we showed, uh, I showed you a, uh, a Byte CPU card and this would uh, be the same vintage uh, for the same Byte computer um, and this has a, a bunch of ROM on it so you could probably put something like Microsoft Basic on it and have it boot up that way. I don't think anybody had a CPM system that was in ROM uh, but a lot of Basic systems uh, were in ROM. Pretty basic card. No, no. Uh, the the uh, byte boards never had a silk screen on them. Never had a solder mask on them. They're very, very basic. Okay, we have some more cards, but uh, I'll wait for some future video, future uh, episodes for those.